What's up, Leo? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe for the below. You broke somebody's heart. Alright, also uh, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. Alright, Leo, sorry I got caught in the energy. It looks like there is... If something had ended in the past, well, obviously in the past, um, somebody's hurt around that. There could be a lot of financial success around work. This is a great group of cards here. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Wands. It kind of feels like somebody's crying over spilled milk or somebody doesn't see the whole situation, like what's really going on, maybe even energetically, because something's about to work out pretty well in your favor. So this could be around work, could be around career. That type of thing. We'll see. Because we are in it with the Six of Wands. So there could be some type of raise, promotion. But it doesn't feel like somebody sees that happening right now. Because right now, this is the obstacle. So with the Five of Cups, this is, it can be like crying over spilled milk. Like focusing on what's here instead of what's still standing. Because there's more to this picture that meets, than meets the eye. Show me the Eight of Pentacles, please. For some, somebody could be watching you at work. All right. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. Wow. The Eight of Swords, the Queen of, I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you're working on right now is about to bring you a lot of stability, a lot of security, a lot of money coming in. And it kind of feels like this energy over here is really business focused. But it... It's also one that may, like, you may put a lot of pressure on yourself or vice versa. So sometimes that's why, like, we can, I don't know, kind of self-doubt or doesn't, don't see something going as well as it actually is going. Because around work, career, finances, um, that's a hell of a payoff. I mean, that's what you work for is that, that payoff right there. Show me that five of cups, please. The Knight of Wands. Oh, yeah. See, there's that ending I was telling you about. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign. This could have been somebody who was noncommittal, in and out. Or there could have been something that was, like, really quick to end. Like, it happened abruptly there. That would be this energy kind of cutting out what's no longer serving you over here. This Queen of Swords energy does not play. But this kind of feels like, yeah, there could have been something that was like with the Ace of Wands. This could be something like a new idea or something that you're passionate about. This definitely could be a person. But sometimes the Ace of Wands is like it lights, there's that fire, it ignites, then we blow it out as soon as it's lit. It doesn't have to be that that's the exact situation because a couple ways this could go. Um, you know, it could be a person that was in and out, maybe a lot of fun, very physical, and that didn't meet your expectations, don't have any expectations, so, but, um, there could be some regret around that. Another way is there was something like around work and career that may have been an idea, but then you didn't proceed with it as quickly as, like, as quickly as somebody thought about it, they dismissed it. And another way it could go is somebody may feel guilty for, like, your come up over here. Show me the Six of Wands. 
for the outcome for Leo. Hopefully, I didn't lose you. I try to cover all bases because, you know, not everybody's dealing with somebody. But this definitely could be a person. Yeah, see, so you're putting time and energy as a result into something that makes you, like, incredibly happy. Look at you. Damn, this is going to pay off so big. So, over here, we have the seven of pinnacles, the eight of pentacles, right? That's working on something. So you're continuing to, with the seven of pentacles, invest your time and energy, feeling very confident, very out there on your game, like busy, magnetic. People are just pulled to you. You definitely could be seen in the spotlight, noticed. It's kind of like all eyes on you. For some Libra energy, there could have been a legal situation. This can indicate like a victory around that. But whatever you're putting your time and energy into, like it's working for you and it's working out big time in your favor. Remember with the seven of pentacles, that's like growing a garden, right? It doesn't happen overnight, but there's the cool thing about this reading is there's already stability and abundance over here. You may have just cut out something that was, you know, holding you back and be, you know, wasn't meeting your standards because as a person, <clears throat> if this is a person you ended things with, um not even speaking in regards to age these two energies at least at the moment are not on the same energetic level like this is somebody more carefree out there wanting to have fun and this is like more by the books more career focused more um you know it may be a little bit above that energy but you end up, whatever you're investing your time and energy to, it puts you right to the top. Feeling extremely good. A lot of success. A lot of happiness. And then it continues. Like with the Seven of Pentacles, you continue to, it's something that doesn't just come and go. It lasts. It builds and it will continue to bring that, that security for you. Cool reading. I hope I didn't lose you. All right, Leo, I hope it helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.